360 angle. Look at that, how beautiful that looks. Welcome to Cooking with Jimmy. Today we're gonna be showing you how to make your sushi from scratch. So I'm gonna show you how to do some basic rolls and the concept is easy. Also, I'm gonna show you the ingredients, but before I do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you wanna see some future recipes, make sure you leave that in the comments. All right, so we'll start off with our rice. Make sure that you have it very sticky, and in the previous video, I showed you guys how to do that, so go ahead and subscribe so you can see the other videos. All right, now I got some celery that I sliced up and everything else, so that way it goes smooth into the roll. You got your garnish with some parsley and whatever else you need. Also, I got some soy sauce so you can dip your sushi inside of it. You got your avocado slices. You can put that in the roll as well. Over here, we got some already cooked off shrimp for you. We'll take the tails off of that and put it in our rolls as well. You gotta have your sushi mat. Very important as well. Make sure you have some water because every time you roll, sometimes the sticky rice sticks to your hands. <laughs> you don't want that. All right, guys, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll go on to the next phase. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take the tails off of this shrimp real quick. I'm just going to demonstrate how to do one, because if I do them all, we'll be here all day. <laughs> so go ahead, get your shrimp, grab it down the back, just go ahead and peel it off like that. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your knife. You can use a sushi knife, whatever you like, and you're just going to go ahead and run it down the middle like that okay so then you're gonna have two halves at the end of the day just like that boom boom and then we're gonna insert these two pieces the long way right just like that into our sushi roll all right now that we have everything cut down sliced up we're gonna go ahead with our roll so when you're rolling just make sure that you cover the entire seaweed with your sticky rice like I said before, I showed you guys how to make the sticky rice in the previous video. So this is extremely sticky, okay? So just make sure it's all over and you get it everywhere. And the reason that we use the water is like I said, your hands are gonna get sticky, okay? So just put them in there constantly. Be generous with your rice. Get it all over the place. <laughs> all right. And that's how you're gonna do it, all right? Now this rice, I'm going to tell you guys, is extremely sticky. <laughs> That's how we want it though. We want it to be sticky. All right. Go ahead. Shut your hands a little bit more. And put it on through. Okay. And pat it down. getting there and yeah, we're working with something <laughs> all right and you want to leave a little bit of excess room so that way you can have it stick at the ends okay and while you're doing this procedure just make sure that you, that you realize everything needs to be covered there can't be a little piece that's off all right Gonna smooth it out a little bit. There we go. I got my corners good. Everything is good to go. This bad boy is ready for rolling. All right. Welcome back. So we already have everything fully covered. Remember, you want to get all your corners and everything else. Go ahead and take the celery sticks that we cut up earlier. Okay. Pack that bad boy on in there. Just like that. Alright. Cool. The avocado. Okay. Mm-hmm. Boom. And then the shrimp, of course. Lay that bad boy on out there like that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna use one that just fits perfectly. And that fits perfectly. Okay, now we're ready for our roll. So, 
all you're gonna do is come through and come over just like that okay so every time you do this I want you to pack it in okay so pack it in just like that and keep packing just keep packing all right and you're gonna do it again just like that boom keep going and then pack really well okay and then when you get to the end you're gonna want to stick it on in there real good just like that and keep packing now okay. just keep packing get yourself a good roll and come on through okay then we're gonna go ahead and roll it on out just like that all right so once you got your roll I want you to go ahead and use a spoon or whatever you have and just go ahead and pack the edges on it so that way you get everything nice and clean okay so with these the best way that you want to do it is cut it right in half okay so that's what we're gonna do here let's cut it straight down the middle Just like I do on my steak videos, so you can see what you're working with. <laughs> All right. Boom. Now that you got a clean cut, go ahead and show it for the camera, just like that. That's how you want them to look, okay? So this is your basic sushi. All right. And that's how you want it to look. And for further more, and if you want to do it even further, you can go ahead and get that half. You can cut it down the center. You can make it into threes. So let's go ahead and go down with the center version, just like that. Boom. Okay. And good to go. Let's see what that looks like. Once again, put these over here. That's how they're supposed to look. All right. I'm going to put them over here with the rest of the other sushi. Okay, boom, same thing here, boom, go ahead and do the same thing, and you'll get a perfect cut every single time if you do it right, okay? So now you have your sushis, all laid out nice and pretty, <laughs> okay, bam, all right. All right, so I just demonstrated how to go ahead and make the sushi roll, but this time I want to do a quick close-up so that way you guys can see everything the way it's done the right way. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my celery stick, and I've cut it perfectly so that way it is the length of the seaweed and the rice. And notice how I covered the rice completely. That is how you want it to be done, okay? So make sure your rice is covered completely. All right, now I'm adding the avocado slices into it and everything else and then we're gonna go with our shrimp that we cut earlier so we'll just put that bad boy in there like that and then we'll go in here and we'll do the next one all right so those look good they're ready for rolling so procedure here is just come over right and just keep rolling all right and then as you're rolling you're tucking okay and once you get a complete roll just like that, you want to keep tucking. There we go. Just keep tucking. That's the process. Once you get about here, you want to keep on tucking. That's the whole point of this roller. This is going to assist you. Then, you're going to continue to do the same thing. Just like that. And let the mat do the work. You know what I mean? So this one, I can already feel it. It's going to be a very tight roll, so it's going to be a really good one. Okay? And just keep on keeping it tight in there. See how that form is already? That's what you want. Okay, keep going and tuck and then keep going and tuck. So from here, you got your roll, but you wanna keep pressing it out. Pretend like you're ironing on a steam presser, okay? Boom. And then what you're left with is your sushi roll your basic sushi roll get yourself a spoon like i said earlier and go ahead and pack it on in okay and you got to make sure your rice is sticky otherwise this does not work and i told you i had a video that teaches you how to do the rice and i do all right 
So for here, I want to go ahead and cut down straight down the middle and see what we're working with. Okay. Boom. Let's take a look at it, see if we did it right. Oh yeah. That's what you're looking at. That's what you want every single time, okay? So I'm gonna do the whole thing. So we're gonna cut it in fours. This side as well. Boom. Okay, so you got your sushi and everything. Let me get another clean cut on that one. Boom. All right, I'm gonna put these over here with the rest of them, just like that. All right, and I'll be moving these over to the middle anyway, so you guys can see it. You don't have to move or anything like that. I got you. Here we go. Boom. That's how you want it to look. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little garnish. I'm not gonna put too much on it, but you know, go ahead and put your little style on it, however you want to do it. My style is different from other people's. There you go. Let's go ahead, garnish everything on up. And I'm gonna do a quick spin rooney here so you guys can see it. In the 360 angle. Look at that. How beautiful that looks. That is how you want it to look. All right. And we're coming back to the beginning. And voila. That's how you roll your sushi and your cooking with Jimmy.